Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex and happy Labor Day. End of the day. Yes, the day is over. Anyway, um, everybody's gone home and officially summer is over. Closing up our pool and closing up all the play, play areas. What I'm working on and finishing up is a 12 by 12 scrapbook that is for a, I think it's Sweet 16 birthday. And the theme of the party is masks. Um, mask from ma like masquerade and I'm going to grab some of these out of here so I had made a bunch of of print and cut mask party mask and then I went in and glittered them all here's one of them and these are going to be these are the same here I'll leave them sorted and <clears throat> here's just red, red and gold are the primary colors um, there's some black in it because by default that almost everything had black in it that I could find. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's another one. And there's a couple of those. These are die cuts that will come with the book. So when when um, she goes to scrapbook, this will be like the die cut that I have. And they're all just eye masks. None of them are a full mask. My, my granddaughter, Kendall, saw these today and decided for her birthday that's um, next month she wants to do the masquerade. She just fell in love with it. This one, it just did in gold. Whoops. Yeah, so she got into these and just, oh, she loved them. And I will show you on the pages what they will look like. On the print and cut, I... I did a little bit of coloring, um, not coloring, glitter on every single one. They're so cute. I love them. So maybe my granddaughter will end up getting this for her birthday. If I get my button gear, maybe. Oh, I already showed you that one. And I showed you, I don't know if I didn't show you that one. And it's another one of those. And this one. There's only one of these. Okay, I've got all the pages done, which I'm going to show you. I've got two holes put in so I can flip the pages and not mess up like I did my last one. And um, show you how the pages are all decorated. I've got this gold with white um, uh, sprigs of, of leaves on it that I'm going to use for my main color here. For the front. I'm doing the front of the book. The book is all done except for the front. There we go. And let me see. I have, you know, I was all set because I had some things that I was going to talk about. Now, somebody asked me, a little update on the new Cricut machine. Not oh, Cricut machine. Uh, silhouette. The new one. The wireless one. Um, mine is still sitting on top of a dresser in a spare room. I have not tried to upgrade my software again because I simply have not had the time. I think that this week I'm pretty caught up. I might have, have the time to, to start working on seeing if I can figure out how to get my files. I don't know, nothing in it worked, um, but I may work on it this week. I'm going to punch these holes in this one before I get going with my crepidile. The back of this page is already done. This is, is the cover of the book, and this is the first page. And a little glue dot there. This is kind of a, a silky paper. It's really cool. Um, I use my crop dial to open the holes. I'm one and a half inches in from both the top and the bottom, and then it'll be six inches in in the middle. I haven't cut the middle yet because anybody that watched me the other day watched me cutting them wrong. I decided that's for trying to talk while I'm doing this, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, I made the mask in black glitter paper and put some red feathers on it because red and, and gold are primary. And the reason I didn't make the mask gold is because I'm decorating all the page in red and gold. But I did it in black. Very intricate cuts. You can see on the back here, but the silhouette does just awesome. Then I took some um, fluor. I don't know if they were these from these, uh, what's that say? Say it in crystals. 
These are from Hobby Lobby. And I don't even know if they carry them anymore. A lot of that stuff I've had so long that it's probably out of stock. I don't even carry it anymore. And i got a picture of my little Isabelle there because I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I've got the red glitter border that I cut out using the Martha Stewart punch like this. And I love these because they open up and then you have um, to line it up so you can make borders. Absolutely love these things. Sometimes it's a little hard to get through the paper um, uh, when they're like these glitter papers. They're really pretty hard to cut through. My <laughs> grandkids were all over today because we had a cookout and a swim party kind of celebrating the end of the, the summer. And um, Brady, who is eight, came up here because Kendall and, and Kendi wanted to do some, they're making the birthday parties for a, a cousin's birthday, I guess it is. I was trying to think whose birthday party it was. And so they were in charge of doing the decorations. Well, Brady wanted to help them out. So Brady, he got into all of my punches. And, oh, this is about three inches wide, this border, and then another three inches in the gold. Anyway, he said he loves to do these things, too. You know, and I'm thinking, yeah, okay. He's never, ever sat up here. But he got into the Martha Stewart punches and grabbed paper from every which way trying to find something he could punch through. And he kept tell, calling me to tell me it wasn't working. And I kept telling him he's holding, getting paper that's way too heavy. But, boy, he was bound and determined. And finally I had to say, okay, Brady, you have to settle down and you have to go out and swim because he was getting really frustrated because he couldn't cut through. He's telling me, these don't work, these don't work. Well... For the paper he was trying to cut through, it doesn't work. You have to make sure that your paper is not too thick. The, uh, the thicker card stocks that I use, the 12 by 18, um, won't cut through that. And then I'm using some gold and white polka dot gold uh, border to put across where I just put that gold. So I don't like to leave it just cut. So I'm putting gold and white polka dot across there. Oh, that was a whole roll. That must have been open before, because I highly doubt that I used a whole roll of that. Move this bad boy over here and clip off this little piece. There we go. Now, on this, what I'm going to do, scratch my nose. I got these at Michael's in the Celebrate that they're selling out of a lot of this stuff. It's the picture frame, and it's black glitter. And what I'm going to do is make a frame down here for the picture to slide in. And, oh, a mosquito got in here. It's attacking me. Oh, I cannot wait for the mosquitoes to be done. Um, we want to have an outdoor movie mar marathon, I guess, um, of Harry Potter. I said, we got to wait and start it when the mosquitoes are all dead because I never last out there with the mosquitoes. Okay, I'm going to put it kind of crooked here on the front, off to the side. And I'm going to show you how um, this is just to slide a picture down in there that this one's too wide, so I'm lifting it up. It would have to be measured first, but you get the, you get the picture, no, no, no pun intended. You know what, I think I'm going to have to probably hot glue that down because I forgot that tape doesn't stick good. I'm going to hot glue this down, then I'll get it in there. Um, and I did this big one because I want this on the front of the book. And plaster that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These real intricate pieces are kind of a pain to figure out how to put the tape on without it showing. But on this, if you see anything showing through, you just rub it off. I can see it through, showing through some holes there. Now I'm just going to rub it to the side. Then I'm going to place this right there. And I'm going to take a little bit of tape and randomly throw it on here 
so that I can get these feathers just to lay flat. Oops, I didn't put two. going this way. So I'm going to go this way. And guys, my season that I've been waiting for of Once Upon a Time has started on Netflix. That's the only way that I watch it. My granddaughter told me today that it was scary, spooky show, and he, she wanted me to take it off of the TV. I was in my office working on my work, and she told me to take it off TV because she wanted to come in here and put on Jesse, or whatever it's called. I don't know. But I put Kendall and Kennedy in here today. They love to craft. Kennedy always. Oh, ma'am, I want to craft. So I put them both in here to craft today. Um, they're supposed to be making some pink <clears throat> and purple decorations for Cousin um, Brinley's first birthday. And so um, their aunt, Renee, said, could Kendall do this? And I knew Kendall was going to jump on it because she loves to do it. And I was working on a Boo, a Monsters, Inc., um, Lay our centerpieces at the time, and I said, well, well, let's just make Boo. She's purple and, and uh, pink. So we cut out all these Boo, and my daughter comes over, and she goes, what are you doing? I said, well, you said, she said pink or purple, so I'm, that's what I'm doing. And she said, she does not like those characters. So she couldn't, we couldn't use them. And I said, well, I have too much to do. Can't go back in the office now. I think I'm going to put a second mask on there, but I'm going to pop dot this one. I had some other plans for that, but I'm going to have to go and change my plans. And this, is it going to come up now? It is. I'm just going to sneak a little dab of hot glue on the glitter part. It sticks down at the bottom just fine, just on the glitter paper. And I know there's other glues that you can use. You know, but if I go out and start buying any more tapes and glues for things that I might very rarely do, I'm not, it's not going to happen. Okay, I'm going to pop dot this one. My hair is itching. My face. Lordy, lordy. And my daughter said this morning that um, Kendall's other set of grandparents want to have a great huge bash when Kendall stops her treatment. Uh, I think it's in March, March 7th or something like that. She's done. She wants to have a great big huge party and I'm all for it. <laughs> but she wants me in charge. And I don't know if I've got the energy for that. But that was what I was told today. She wants me to plan it all. Let me put it that way. Go in the other direction from that one. I'm going to pitch my nose again. And I'm going to try and... Oh, my word! Seriously! And I don't want to take that picture off because I'm going to do a scrapbook layout. Let me see if i got a picture over here. I guess it doesn't really matter. I wanted to, oh, I got one over here. I wanted to slide a picture in there. Now oh, that one, no, oh, that one's fine. Just slide that bad boy in there. It needs to be a little bit wider. But, oh, and the red, we're good because the red, but of course when the picture would be cut, you'd cut it according to the size here. But that's what the frame is for, to put a picture. And that's a picture of me holding Isabel on the plane, on the way to Disney, and reading my playing on my phone. Figures. That figures. Okay, so there we have the cover. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. So I wanted to add some of these. Some of these. These roses here. I'm going to add those. To, oops, I'm unwinding them. I'm unwinding these. I'm going to put them right on the frame. There we go. Didn't need those are pretty sticky. There we go. 
and I don't want to add anything else. I do want to punch a hole here at six, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you all the pages, but I'm going to shut this off and start it again so it doesn't time out. Right okay. back. I'm back. Let me show you the pages. I'm going to stick this one in the front of the book, and I'll go back and punch the holes. And that on, and slip that on. There we go. And now I'm going to show you the pages. And again, this one has a kind of a, a shiny, almost feels like a vinyl paper on the bottom with the gold glittered and the polka dot at the top. And then we have the mask that can be used on all of these pages. I showed you the mask. I don't need to do that. This one is because there's going to be a matching um, book for guests to sign. And what I did on those, I've got this all ready to go too, is I printed the lines and put the name and address. Um, and the background is a gold digital. And then on the bottom of each page is one of the masks. On all of them. This is for the guest book. I haven't done the cover yet. Um, I'll film that or just take pictures of it when it's all done. Okay, and let's go to page two. And I want to match up these masks with the, the paper somehow. And here we go. Again, I love the glitter ribbons. And then we've got some gold paper here in polka dot and some ribbon again and ribbon here. Love the colors in this, that's for sure. Another one with the red um, boil paper and the sticky tape and then some of the gold. This is like a gold trim. It's almost, I mean, it's like a metallic. And got the red and gold going on here and there we go I can just imagine how much fun this would be to do and decorate everybody's in if it's a masquerade party and putting these masks on all the pages I think when I take pictures of it I'm gonna lay a mask on it I haven't do the back of it yet but for right now this is what I've got. I'll take some pictures of that, and if I get the 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 uh, big other book done, the guest book, then I will put pictures of that as well. Everybody have a good night. Bye bye.